There was an extraordinary and emotional scene on Parliament Hill this evening. A group of Canadian veterans, some from the Second World War, stood in front of television cameras to tell Canadians how badly they were treated today by the Veterans Affairs Minister. One broke down. Another called the minister disgraceful. They called for Julian Fantino's resignation, and one vowed to help get the entire Harper government defeated. Our senior correspondent, Terry Malefsky, has more about what happened. Terry. Well, Peter, this evening saw a political disaster for the government over its plan to close eight Veterans Affairs offices across the country. That move has outraged veterans groups who set up a meeting this evening with the minister, Julian Fantino, and took it badly when he showed up very late. The veterans went to the minister's office and waited and waited and waited. I would like to call for Mr. Fantino's resignation. His resignation or fired. The veterans had already given up on the meeting when Fantino showed up for a brief encounter which went badly. The, the case managers and so forth will still come out to your home. Uh, where are these case managers going to be located? Never. That they're going to come and visit us? You, you're going to be visited at home as you have been in cases where you cannot go to a local office. You guarantee us that there's going to be someone there in every one of those places to look after us. Well, you know, this finger pointing stuff doesn't really no. work very well no. with no. me. Oh, well, that's what, just what, too what, bad. Don't work well with us what, that you didn't turn up at a meeting that you were supposed to turn up to. And don't give me this thing about something came up. You bushwhacked us. Hogwash. Fantino finally walked out, still insisting that the Service Canada offices would do the job. We, we, we have 500, over, over 650 more points of reference where veterans can find help, support, and, and, uh, and be looked after. But the veterans did not buy that. It's a bunch of bullshit is all we get from this politician, and he should not be in office, and I'd like to see him resign. Thank you. Mr. Harper and his conservatives... Best be prepared for the next election. Please, uh, don't. If they don't open these offices, don't vote conservative. I was getting upset. As a matter of fact, I was crying in there. Because I kept... <laughs> Later, Fantino's office put out a press release saying that he did, in fact, have a roundtable meeting with veterans, without mentioning how it ended. It seems that Fantino was delayed by a cabinet committee meeting, but the outcome is a real problem for a government which says it's a friend of the military and of its veterans. Peter. All right, Terry. Thank you. Terry Molesky in Ottawa tonight. Well, the regional offices being closed are in Kelowna, British Columbia, Saskatoon, Brandon, Manitoba, Thunder Bay, and Windsor, Ontario, Sydney, Nova Scotia, Charlottetown, and Cornerbrook, Newfoundland. The office in Prince George, B.C. has already been closed.